breathtaking, isn't it? Yeah, it looks pretty steep oh, to me. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, there should be a turning to the left. The left? Oh. Yeah. And then it's not much longer. I should think so, straight off the plane on a road like this. Could have had us off the edge. Well, perhaps you should have done. That's why we ought to be, according to this map. And it would have been an extremely short holiday. <laughs> for a swim. Oh, I see. So am I. Well, I'm sure we all are. I prefer a more conventional route to the beach than being plunged over a cliff. The sea's only a minute's walk from here. Oh, good. Well, there's a hotel pool if you just want to freshen up. See you later. Look, we must phone Gran in a minute, find out if Mark's settled in all right. What are you supposed to do on a beach? Drift with the day. Drift? I can't drift. We don't drift. I never drift. I'm going to go for a walk, see what's happening. Nothing is happening. It's the point. Nothing is supposed to happen. Well, I'm going to stretch my legs. Doing me no good, this flopping around. We are here to relax. I'll see you later. We brought him here to relax. <laughs> he will in time. C'est pas utile, il y, a, il y a tout ce qu'il faut sur le bateau. Mon Dieu, mais je préfère bien préparer mes voyages. Vous essayez sur le marchand nautique, mais je vous préviens, mon bateau, il marche que le long des côtes. Ah oui, oui, oui. Ce n'est pas des, des grands voyages. Je comprends, merci. Ah, alors, regarde. Tenez, tenez. Ah, bonjour. Bonjour. Are in the boat? Yeah, just booking ourselves in. Sounds good. Uh, does he take it? He will do. You prefer to go on our own? Oh, I think I'd prefer somebody to take me. Well, his rates are very reasonable. Don't expect a guided tour. He doesn't speak any English. No, no, well, I wouldn't expect it. The caves are particularly worth looking at, so we're told. Well, I'll see if he's got a day free. If you need any help, Philip speaks very good French. Oh, no, no, my French is terrible. But I think we'll have to make the effort. Quite right. Oh, I'm sorry, I've never introduced myself. Reg Wexford. Ah, Philip Blackstock. Pleased to meet you. My wife, Iris. Pleased to meet you. I hope your friend has recovered. Oh, yes. I hadn't meant to upset him. No, 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 of course not. Quite understood. Good. Well, we'll see you back at the hotel. Bye. Uh, pardon, monsieur. Oui? Uh, je voudrais faire un tour avec vous dans votre bateau. Oui, bien sûr. Attendez, euh, vendredi, hein, c'est plutôt. Vendredi. Mais vous, vous voulez une journée ou une demi-journée euh, Quelle place nous allons oh, Non, non. Uh, coming out of the harbour, I would take you south. 
down the very beautiful coast to Galleria, it would be a full day out. But if you should prefer only half a day, oh, I was professor of English in Marseille. But now I, I prefer this. I'll take the full day. I'll be delighted. Good. Then I'll book you in. Have a glass? Oh, thank you. And one for me. Uh, tell me. Hmm? Pluto. What does it mean? Uh, no, Pluto. 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 Uh, earliest. Uh, the earliest day I can give you is Friday. Ah. What was something? Sante. According to Ange the Boatman, when Philip Goss published his work on marine zoology in the late 19th century, he created a generation of enthusiasts who divested our coastline from all his marine life. And has never really recovered from it. Only you could come to Corsica and find out about the British coastline. I'm extremely affected. Doffing your hat? Oh, it's just courtesy. I mean, I do. Not in that showy kind of way. Well, what's he going to show off to us about? It's very good looking, isn't it? They wear such beautiful clothes. Oh, no. That skirt is gorgeous. Oh, for God's sake. How lovely. Slave Latino, ti mi chora. What on earth were you doing being a professor of English in Marseille? Well, like the inhabitants of all small islands, we need to escape. Way in the world. As Christopher Columbus did. He was a Corsican. Born here, up in the citadel. Christopher Columbus was born in Genoa. Let me think. Oh, maybe you're right. But we have a Napoleon, of course. Of course. <laughs> ah, why should a Corsican spend 40 years of his life teaching English to the French? It is a complete mystery to me. Much have I traveled in the realms of gold. Uh, kids. Webster, Milton, and Don. I have never met an English tourist who even know them. Until now. Bonjour, Monsieur le ah, Here comes my party. I'll be here tomorrow morning. So shall I. They're very nice. <laughs> Aren't they? Very comfortable. I'll take them. Can you ask her for another two pairs? Um, white ski blue. Alors, finalement, madame, nous voudrions trois paires. Un bleu et un Should be doing this. What? Shopping. It's our holiday. Oh, is that your business, shops? Uh, manufacturing. Shoes, clothes, leisure wear. These are wonderful. Thank you. What work are you escaping from? Oh, civil service. Sounds very vague. What do you mean? Well, the police service. Oh, it's nice to know in a gun-happy island like this. Oh, I'm not in the police service now. Not when I'm on holiday. I like to mix a bit and... 
Well, it puts people off if you tell them you're a policeman. <laughs> yeah, I should think it would. <laughs> Can we buy you a drink? We're co-directors. Husband and wife on the same board. Well, that's unusual, isn't it? Iris's father owned the company. I just joined as a promotions officer. When we got married, he promoted me. Where are you based? London. We have offices in London and a factory in Downhampton. Oh, that's a lawyer, you know. Really? Yes, King's Markham. Blackstone. Is that your company? Yes. Yeah. That's your name, too. When we married, we reversed the custom. Philip took my name. He knew it would please my father. Well, oh, it was very magnanimous of you. <laughs> Well, no one thinks much of it when a woman changes her name in marriage, so why shouldn't a man? <laughs> well, you must be one of the biggest uh, beachwear manufacturing companies in the country, aren't you? We're in the top five. Oh, top six. I met your father once, you know. I don't know. Uh, I can't remember what the occasion was. Oh, it was ages ago now. And he was a lovely man. Was? Oh, is he dead, then? He died in May. Oh, I am sorry. Listen, we're just about to drive up to the mountains. Why don't you come with us? Well, well, I, I don't think I could leave the others. Um... Yes, come with us. We'd like that. Where are the others? Well, they're shopping. They'll, wow. be, out. They'll be out all day. <laughs> <laughs> come with us. Yeah, all right. I'll be delighted then. How long are you staying? Sunday week. Tomorrow's our last day, sadly. Are only here for three days? Yes, but we've had a week on the Riviera. Oh. Did you find this? Yeah, beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Keep it. Oh, I couldn't, huh? No, go on. Are you hungry? Well, I could eat something. Good, there's supposed to be a good place on the top here. How to enjoy ourselves in England. There's no joie de vivre, no generosity of spirit. Look at that. Not a country I feel at home in, not the way I do in Mediterranean life. You had a French mother, that's why. Yeah, probably. It's in your blood. Don't know how to enjoy the fruits of the earth. Magnificent. Oh. oh, yeah, spectacular. Oh, spectacular. Good evening. Good evening. He's just coming. Oh, thank you. Where on earth have you been? Well, I met Philip and Iris, and we went up into the mountains. I've been worried sick about you. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Didn't you even think to leave a message? Well, you have ruined our day. We've been here the whole afternoon waiting for you. Well, I, I thought you were shopping. We got back from the shopping when we said we would get back from the shopping. I think you'd better come out and apologize to Jenny and Mike. Yes, of course, I'm sorry. I even phoned the hospital. Worried about you, idiot that I am. If I had known you were gallivanting around the mountains, I'd care for anyone else. I'm sorry. Last. <laughs> We were thinking of going to the Citadel tomorrow. Unless, of course, you want to go with Philip and Iris on their trip. Of course I wouldn't. You know I wouldn't. Why are they so fascinating? Well, because they look as if they're in paradise. started off as a Roman settlement. <laughs> then it was invaded by the Vandals, the Goths, and then the Saracens. But in the 13th century, the Genoese arrived, and instead of settling like all the others around the bay, they came up here. Fascinating. Yes, isn't it? 
Oh, now this is a really interesting bit. Now, somewhere around here, there is a plaque that marks the spot where the cannon fired the shot that cost Nelson his eye. What are you looking at? A small craft. Over there. Oh. Well, she made a point of but is she really more interesting than anything here? Well, no, no, of course she's not, no. No, I was listening. Oh, I'm fascinated by Napoleon. Fabulous. Fabulous. You'll love it. We're running a bit late for the ferry to Nice, so we've got to rush off. Oh, well, I, I won't stop. Have a good journey. Thanks very much. I've left my address in reception for you, so come and visit. Oh, thank you. I will. Yes. See ya. Bye. Enjoying the evening air? Yes, lovely, thanks. Especially now they've gone. Now, I know that incident on the road upset you, but there must be something more to it than that. No, not really. People should be what they are, not display themselves like peacocks. I know. What splendid feathers. of these islands can you <coughs> get onto? Uh, you mean disembark? Yeah. Um, Isola de Gargalui, Apodia Morseta. What about the smaller ones? Depends if you know where to land. There is nothing to see. There is no point. No, but if you really needed to. All of them, I suppose. If you put one thing. Are we stopping at Galleria? For lunch, yes. Why? I'd like to phone home. Phone this evening. Well, I'd just like to check everything's all right. You know. Everything will be all right. You will not be able to escape your mother's eagle eye for one second. Those are very interesting rocks. It's none of the library. Ah! Now, that uh, man and his wife who hired your boat the other day, yes? Was she ill? Ill. Uh, when they return? Oh, I don't think so. Strange question. I didn't notice anything different about her. No? They were in a hurry. They, they had a ferry to catch. What was he... what was he telling them? When? When they got off the boat. Just to hurry up. Um, where does the word copper come from? Copper? Policeman. Why? Aren't you a policeman? <laughs> yes. How do you know? Nobody else will be as inquisitive on that kind of way. Well, then I must apologize. But you're quite right. It comes from the word to cop, meaning to capture somebody. The word copper was first heard in the theater in the 19th century.
That's for me? Yeah, Mr. Philip Blackstall. Oh, thank you. Hello? Philip? Hello? Uh, Philip? She's gone. Uh, what do you mean? She's been kidnapped. Iris? We got home last night. I left her in bed to go to work this morning, and she's gone. And now I've received this ransom note. Well, have you told the police? Yes, they're here now. Can you come back? You can't ask him to come back. You know her. And... And I want her home. Let me speak to him. I'm absolutely desperate. Yes, I'll come straight away. Oh, God. <laughs> I'll call you as soon as I know. I don't know who's doing this. I don't know where she is. I don't understand. Is it DC Stevens is with you? Yes. Well, tell him I'm coming back straight away. Why can't you leave Stevens to deal? Because it's my case. Well, thanks for a terrific holiday. Talk to anyone. There will be further communication if the ransom is genuine. As soon as you receive it, you contact me. What do you mean, if it's genuine? Well, it seems she has been kidnapped, but I do have to keep an open mind. I hope it's genuine. Why? Well, she must be alive. Have you any idea who might be doing? But everyone in the trade knew my father-in-law, and it was public knowledge that he left Iris four and a half million pounds. But I have no idea who would go so far as to physically take her. Do you have a copy of the will? Yes. May I see it? Yes. Who were the other beneficiaries? No one, just her. Left everything to her? Yes. Wasn't he married? He had a second wife, Linda. Why wasn't she included? His first wife, Iris's mother, committed suicide. When she found out, he'd taken Linda as a lover. Linda had been a house guest for three years before she found out. On his death, he was so racked with guilt that he changed the will. And Linda is contesting it. Oh, yes. She's accusing Iris of turning her father against her. And what are the relations between... Uh... Iris and Linda. They only talk through lawyers. I've tried to get them to settle out of court, but Iris won't have it. Thank you. Is there anybody else that might feel hurt at being excluded? No. Can I ask you a difficult question? Your father-in-law's money went to your wife. In the event of her death, who would it go to then? Me. She is alive. I do believe her. Yeah, everything goes to me. There's no secret about that. We keep our wills together. Do you want to see that? Oh, no, no, thank you, no. But I would like a copy of this. Would you please answer that? No. Now, who is that? Oh, hold on a moment. John Walsh. Oh. oh. Tell him I'll call him back. Oh, hello. He'll, he'll call you back. Yeah. Thank you. <sighs> Phone's what I can't handle. Shall I write it down to remind you? Uh, no, no, it's all right. 
You call back later. He's only offering support now, and hope I'll bail him out later. From what? Another wrecked business venture. You can count the real friends on the fingers of one hand. If you're going to see what's on your desk, there's only a note telling you to come with me. Welcome back. Haggard. Philip Haggard, is that possible? Did you ask him if it comes in a bottle or a spray? Is that leftover holiday spirit or true animosity? <laughs> if it is, I hope it doesn't cloud your judgment. No, of course it won't. Have you got your uh, holiday snaps back yet? No, not yet. Well, I'd like to see them when you do. Yes, all right. Who are we going to visit? This is Linda Blackstock who was to be the heir to the Blackstock fortune. I was married to James for six years, and I was his lover for three years before that. <coughs> Squabbling over a will is squalid behaviour. What I'm asking for is no more or less than I'm entitled to as his wife, and what I believe James himself would have wanted me to have. Oh, what's that? Half. That's what was in the original will. His last will was written four weeks before his death. Which you claim is not valid. Of course it's not valid. His mind was disturbed. Oh, by what? Oh, his illness, his drugs. Other people? Which other people? Iris spent a lot of time with her father in those last weeks. I don't know what was spoken. I only know the will was altered to exclude me. By Iris? Don't you think so? Well, that's what we're here to find out. He was, before his illness, a very strong-willed man. It was pathetic to see him so weak in those last days. I even had to dismiss his nurse because she'd begun to dominate him and... He had no faculties to resist it. I didn't know he had a nurse. Yes, I hired her when he became too physically ill to care for himself. What way did she dominate him? She tried to take control of his life, dictating who he could see and for how long, and putting things in his head. What things? All sorts of things. Who loved him, who didn't love him. I think she tried to put into his head that she was the only person on this earth that he could trust. Did you hire her? Before he changed his will? Yes, yeah, several weeks before. What was her name? Jane Conway. I don't think she had anything to do with it, do you? Do you? I hadn't thought about it. She was most unpleasant. Was she from an agency? Yes. Nurse Link. Ghastly thought. Nurse wins him over, gets him to change his will, and then discovers it isn't in her favour. I think you should go and see her. Don't you want to? No, I'm more interested in Mrs. Blackstock. She tells us about the nurse, and then feigns surprise that we're interested. <laughs> Not a good performance, Mike. And who was she excluding from having his tea with us? Perhaps it was the same person who left the smell of his cigar in the hallway. <laughs>
Yes? I've come to see Mr. John Walsh. He's out. When will he be back? Twelve. Can I wait? Not inside, no. I'm Philip Blackstock. Well, I'm Candy Selworthy. Family. Mr. Walsh doesn't have family. Iris Blackstock's husband. Well, no one impresses me. Thank you. Nice John. Beach, beach, cliffs, more cliffs, goats, peasants, church. Ah, Stevens, I've got just a job for you. I want you to find out everything you can about Philip Blackstock, particularly about his past, somebody that might have something against him. Only do it without him knowing, because he's been under a lot of stress lately. So? Beach, goats, oh my God. Goats, goats, pigs, peasants. Dora's photographs. You be thankful you don't uh, process holiday snaps for a living. Have you got yours back yet? No, not yet. Philip! Philip, sorry. Been waiting long? No. Philip, darling, it's me, Iris. Please give them what they're asking for. it is. When did you get this? This morning. Through the post. Came with this. What's going on? What do you mean? Linda accuses Iris of stealing two million pounds and then I get this. Are you suggesting this is her doing? Or someone she knows. Like who? That's my question to you. Well, I don't know anything. No. You tell me! Who's doing this? Philip. What's going on? I don't know! Please! Please! If you know something and can't tell me, please! If I could help you, I would, believe me. I'll give you 100,000 pounds if you get it back to me safe. 200,000 pounds. You don't even have to answer me. Just bring her home. some information on Walsh. Interesting? Yes, very. He used to operate property companies, but spent his money faster than he made it, with the result that 18 months ago he was declared bankrupt. Since then, he's had no legitimate income. Well, what's he living on now, then? Well, I don't know what he's living off now, but before James Blackstock died, he was living off Linda Blackstock, as her lover. She was financing him out of her husband's account. Are they still lovers? Apparently, yes. And now that the old man's affairs are in the hands of the executors, the money has dried up. Well, it's no wonder they want an out-of-court settlement on the will. There's your motive, certainly. We're checking his and Linda's recent movements. I'm looking forward to meeting this Mr. Walsh. What are you going to do about the ransom demand? Oh, I've told him to pay it in and wait. He seems to be prepared to spend any amount of money. Mr. Walsh drink tea. Who? Mr. Walsh. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, come now, Mrs. Blackstone. Would you tell Mr. Walsh to stop hiding and come here and bring another cup and saucer? Just a minute. This is my house. You can answer my questions down at the police station if you prefer. Ask Mr. Walsh to join us, will you? And another cup and saucer. Thank you.
Were you in love with him? That's none of your business. You must have been very infatuated with him to give him so much money. I was helping him out over a difficult period, as any decent person in love would do. Decent people don't steal money from their dying husbands and give them to extravagant lovers. Ah, you must be Mr. Walsh. Yes. My name is Burton. This is Chief Inspector Wexford. How do you do? Please, sit down. Why do you hide from us, Mr. Walsh? I don't. This is not my house. When a policeman visits, I presume he doesn't wish to speak to me. We've been discussing your previous financial arrangement with Mrs. Blackstock. As this source of income has now been withdrawn from your grasp, what do you do for money? That's none of your business either. I was asking Mr. Walsh. Do you have an income? I don't earn a wage, if that's what you mean. So what do you earn? I have other resources. What? Ask my accountant. Why are you so secretive, Mr. Walsh? I don't have to tell you anything. A woman is missing, and we're here to find her. I squander money, Mr. Wexford. I don't kill women. Who said anything about killing? I don't know what happened to Iris. Where were you on Wednesday? Manchester. Why? On business. Did you go by car? Yes. Up the M6? Yes. So you passed crew? <laughs> it's on the way. Did you stop there? No. The ransom demand received by Philip Blackstock was posted in crew on Wednesday. Is that a coincidence? It would have to be. Do you believe in coincidence, Mrs. Blackstock? Depends what coincidences you're talking about. What were you doing in Lincoln on the 3rd of this month? Was I? Yes. You were shopping. I believe I did. I just don't recall the date. Lincoln, that's a long way to go shopping. There's a particular dressmaker I like to visit. What else did you do? I had lunch. And? I can't... I can't remember. The Building Society account for the ransom money was opened in Lincoln on the 3rd of this month. And do you believe in that as a coincidence? I would have to. I know nothing about that. Well, neither do I. certainly tripped up. By us or by each other? The description of the woman who opened the Building Society account. Too vague to be of much use, I'm afraid. Medium build, brown hair. Could have been her with a brown wig. Do you believe in coincidence? Yes, but not this one. I think we ought to get a warrant to search Walsh's house. Do you want me to stop off and get my holiday snaps? Oh, yes. Good. Good. What? My photographs. Oh, Stevens, I want to see everything that you've got about Philip Blackstock in my office now. They're very good. Who's that? Jenny and Iris. Who's that? Philip and Iris. What's she doing? Have you got to say? Sit down, Mike. I'm not sure that they're both Irish. What? Well, I can't really make any sense. I don't know what I'm going to say, but... I think this might be a different woman. Someone pretending to be Irish. See, I've noticed that there are two types of ankles, and you can only tell the difference from the back. No, no, no. No, you just, just hear me out. With the first type, the calf joins the heel with a narrowing, but no distinct shaft. But in the second type, the Achilles tendon makes a long, slender shaft.
with two indentations just below the ankle bone. Now, I observed this woman coming off the boat after her trip round the islands, and she was Irish in everything except her legs. Where does this fit in with our evidence against Linda Blackstock and Wolves? It doesn't. Nothing that I have heard or seen in this investigation makes any sense of what I've just been telling you. Philip Blackstock. Oh, good. Uh, what about Iris? That's included. All right, then, let's hear it. Philip Blackstock, born the 27th of the 7th, 60, Stepney as Philip Booth. His mother, Doreen Booth, unmarried and unable to look after him, placed him in St Mary's Children's Home in 63. I thought you said he had a French mother. No. He said he had a French mother. Yes, go on. Left the home in 75, and the next six years are blank. He then appears in various employment as Philip Westminster, Philip Devonshire, Philip Marlborough, and Philip Beaufort. They're all dukes. No wonder he looked like he was putting on a performance. Here, Constable. All right, you can go. News today. Dresses up as the aristocracy. And earns his living. Good Lord. As a stud in soft porn movies. Then he becomes a fashion model. Which must be where he met Iris. Yeah, that's right. Then it seems, uh, he said about impressing her father. He took a business course, came out top in every grade, got engaged in 88, became a member of the board in 89 and married in 89. Well, that's a pretty impressive record for somebody who started with nothing. Can I see? Yeah, cool. Do you know, it, all, it almost makes what I've been telling you seem quite plausible. That he kidnapped her himself? No. That he killed her. See, your instincts might be quite right. It was just his showiness I didn't like, that's all. What you're saying doesn't make much sense of our evidence. No, it doesn't. I wouldn't have mentioned the incident except I noticed it. And if I don't find any evidence to back me up, I'll say nothing about it, and we'll continue our investigation with Walsh. I never knew that. What? Iris has a sister, Lucy. You never told me that. Well, I didn't know. Two years younger. Left England six years ago. Lives in France in, um... Well, oh, it's a village. <laughs> in Provence. Provence? Well, that's just a boat trip from Corsica. Now, why hasn't anybody mentioned her before? Lassie. 
Well, I better follow you, lassie. Uh, are you Lucy Rue? Yes. I met your sister Iris and your brother-in-law Philip recently. Uh, I'm Inspector Wexford. I'm a policeman. Oh. What's happened? May we go inside? And she's dead. We don't know that. We've had a ransom note from the kidnappers. Philip has agreed to be paid. But it could be a hoax. I am sorry to bring you this news. Have you any idea what could have happened? We're doing everything we can to find out what happened. You think you could help me? Yes. Jonathan Walsh? That's my name. I have a warrant to search your house and property. For what? In connection with the disappearance of Iris Blackstock. You're joking. But what your bloody feet? You damaged one item of my property. Everything will be fully restored. What do you need to know? I'd like to know about the circumstances surrounding your departure from Mr. Blackstock's employment. I was sacked. Can you tell me why? Because Mrs. Blackstock hated me. And why was that? Mr. Blackstock took a profound dislike to her in his last weeks and asked me to keep her away from him as much as I could. And I did. Why did he take against her? I doubt she was having an affair with a man he thought was a thief. Mr. Walsh? 
common thief in a city suit. That's what he said. Walsh and her were after his money, so he changed his will and cut her out altogether. Did you see the will? Yeah. Rich, wasn't he? Six years ago, my mother ended her life. One year ago, Alain died. Alain? My husband. Suddenly, one morning. Six months ago, my father. And now this. There's no one else. I went to Paris after my mother killed herself. I was so upset by my father's treatment of her, I just cut myself off. It was there I met Alain. We got together and we bought this place. As a retreat for Parisians, artists of one kind or another. All word of mouth, friends of friends. It was a wonderful atmosphere. We all gather here in the evenings, eating, drinking, talking through the night. That's all gone now. There are some questions that I must ask you. Can I ask you now, or would you prefer to wait? I'd like some fresh air. Is that it? Yes. Thank you for your time. Why all the questions? I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to discuss that. Am I being accused of anything? No. Well, that's all right, then. Now, what are you doing oh, here? I heard someone had come. It was for me. He's just leaving. Oh, good afternoon. You? He's just a friend. Detective Inspector Burton. Nothing to concern you here, sir. Merely inquiries. What sort of inquiries? Oh, nothing that need worry you. You know you shouldn't be in the draft. Hmm. I'll let you out. <laughs> what is your name? Burton. From where? I don't like him to be kept in the draft. From where? King's Market, near Stourton. Thank you, Mr. Burton. Goodbye, sir. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Well, you certainly haven't. You shouldn't have told him you were a policeman. He's easily unsettled. Well, please tell him he has nothing to worry about. This must be one of the most beautiful places on earth. Why did nobody ever mention it to me? Oh, I'm easily forgotten here. <laughs> well, I would have thought Philip would have mentioned it. No, he wouldn't have wanted me worried. When did you last see her? Three weeks ago. She came to visit you? Yes, with Philip. What day was that? Do you remember? Um, a Friday? Yeah, it was a Friday. They stayed the night and we left the next morning. Oh, you went with them? They went to Nice for the ferry and I went to Antibes. What did you do there? I was just visiting a friend. He'd moored up in Antibes Harbour. We went sailing along the coast for a few days. Oh, where did you go? Just along the coast. To Corsica? 
No, not that far out. Who was your friend? Um, from Sweden. When did you get back to Antibes? The following Saturday, and I was back here Sunday. You do know that there's been a dispute about your father's will, don't you? Yes, I do. Iris told me. And I'm with her. My father's second wife seduced him for his money, and that alone. I'm happy he left her nothing. You happy that he left you nothing? I told him I didn't want any of his money. But Iris is going to give me half of it. Half of everything? Yes. She said it's what Father asked her to do. He sent me a letter begging forgiveness. I never visited him. And I never forgave him. Have you accepted her offer? Yes, I have. It'll make me secure here. I'd have to sell otherwise. Do you think Philip will agree? Yes. Oh, yes. You like him? Yes, I do. And Iris adores him. Um, if... If she isn't alive, what will happen to the money, then? Oh, I'm sorry, I... I don't have an answer to that question. Oh, Jean, you've too sweet. He's brought me fish. Back in a minute. Anyone done the pictures? No, sir. Physically, Mike, she could easily be the second Iris. But more important than that, she was absent during the time that would have taken to do it. But I must say, I can't imagine her conspiring to murder. Certainly not her own sister. Can't imagine or don't want to. I don't know. I've, I've just got this feeling. She's got a sort of aura of tragedy, as though she was a very fine actress playing a moving role. Well, she trained as an actress in England, didn't she tell you? No. Yeah, and then she went to Paris to study theatre. Hello, you still there? Yes. Thought you must have known that. No. I didn't know that. Walsh's house is being turned over at the moment. I'm on my way there now. And, um, I visited the nurse, Jane Conway, this morning. Hello? I want you to meet him tomorrow morning before 11, because that's when Miss Conway will be out. Evening. Find anything? Find a cupboard in his bedroom. Style matches the Building Society security video. What did Walsh say? I was waiting for you to show him. He's um, in what he calls his study.
Tell me about this, Mr. Walsh. It's a wig. FEMA? Found in your bedroom. I've never seen it before. Then how did it get there? You tell me. You put it there. Oh, come on, Mr. Or Walsh. one of your boys. You I've never seen it before. I've learned to come to terms with losing those closest to me by understanding the human condition as tragedy. How can it help you to believe that? I immerse myself in the works of the great artists because their gift to us, passed through the centuries, is to share that experience, to remind us we're not alone. And so I can go beyond grief and despair to almost beauty. What have we done? Oh, Claire. Yeah. You wrap this around me. Thank you. I'll get you something proper to put on. Uh, oh, do you have a first aid kit? Um, in the drawer in the dresser over there. Right. It's all right. No, no, you stay there. I'll get it. That's not going to need a stitch. <laughs> You'll be all right. I'm sure I will. <laughs> Remember you um, asked me this afternoon where the money would go if uh, Iris was no longer alive? Well, I think that Philip will get the money. Oh. You think that he would give you half of everything? Yes, I'm sure he'd honor that promise. Thank you. You've been very kind. I'll make some coffee. Thank you. Let's hope the lab comes up with something. You don't sound too confident. It feels like we're on the right and the wrong track at the same time. Mrs. Penn, I was expecting the environmental officer to exterminate the wood lice. <laughs> if she asks what you're here for, that's what you're here for. 
What lies? I don't want her or Miss Conway to know that I've spoken to a police officer. But to the point, a five-inch porcelain figurine of a lady on a log has disappeared from this room. Miss Conway says she broke it, but I believe she's sold it. Mr. Auden, I've come a long way to see you. Is that all you have to tell me? No, it is not all. Not by a long way all. She's also intent on appropriating my money. In what way? Well, she's been tampering with my money box. What kind of money box? There used to be five pounds and thirty pence in there. Now there's only three pounds and thirty pence. Well, time to go. Thank you very much for your very generous hospitality. It's my pleasure. You will let me know as soon as you know anything. Oh, of course. Oh, uh, last night, I saw what I thought was Iris' sunglasses in that drawer there. Oh, yes, they are. She left them here. But I saw her wearing them the day after she came back from visiting you. She must have another pair. Two pairs of the same sunglasses. Buying two of something is not unusual for Iris. Could I take them with me? Thank you. Could you do me one last favor? Put these on for me. If you like. Just for a moment. Why? I want to see how I like you. We're worlds apart. But we are sisters. It is possible that I had two pairs of sunglasses or that Philip had a substitute pair. But Lucy is not the second pair, is it? Why are you so sure? Well, if you'd been there and spoken to her, you'd know she wasn't. Traffic is terrible. Is it a bad flight? No, it's just such an ugly road. Oh, I told you I saw the nurse, Jane Conway. Waste of time. Got nothing to do with it. No, it hasn't. It's very, very good. Very promising findings. Now, these scrapings of blood taken from the attic carpet in Walsh's house match our sample of Iris Blackstock's blood obtained from her doctor. Walsh insists that Iris had never been to his house. Also found in Walsh's attic were three strands of hair which match our sample of Iris's hair. Now we also found fibres from an Asia and white Shetland wool sweater. The same fibres are found in the carpet by the front door. Philip Blackstock reports the Shetland sweater missing from her wardrobe, didn't he? Irrefutable evidence. I just wish we had the body. I know that I've discounted Lucy, but there's no reason why Philip shouldn't have had another partner. 
Surely it's beyond question that Walsh is the right man. Well, I want to put Philip to the test. It has to be Walsh. I think we've been duped. Look, um, can we discuss this in the morning? Why, are you busy? Well, um, I am rather, yes. Oh, all right. Good night. <laughs> he wants to discuss the Blackstock case. Mm -hmm, you know, I heard. It's not making any sense. Where were we? No, leave it, leave it. No, I'm sorry, I've got to answer it. I've got to. Hello? Why don't you and Jenny come to lunch on Sunday? We haven't seen you for such a long time. Lunch? Yes. About one o'clock. He wants us to come to lunch on Sunday. Hmm. Why don't you just switch the ring? This is lovely. It's pretty, isn't Where it? Where are you going to put it, then? Well, I thought between those two windows. Here's your drink, Jenny. Oh, Mike. Thank you. Oh, listen, do you want any help? No, no. You sure Just coming to lunch. Yeah, a few holiday reminiscences. Uh, cheer him up a bit. Leave the doggy to me. In this then? No. Any news? No, no, he's still denying it. How can he? Oh, don't worry. We'll continue to search, though we are uh, running out of places to look, at least in this country. Come on in. Thanks. What's going to happen to your father in law's country home now? Things will stay as they are until I find out what's happened to Iris. Oh, how do you mean? Well, nothing uh, was as clear as it seems. I think I may have arrested the wrong man. Uh, would you have some evidence for that? Oh, we're working on that. Well, how does that tie in with what you found at John Walsh's house? Oh, it doesn't. If the evidence is genuine, then he is guilty. How do you mean, genuine? Well, not planted. That's the only other explanation. That whoever caused Iris's disappearance planted the evidence in John Walsh's house. What would the motive have been? Ah, now, that is the question. What is the motive for kidnapping? Money. Money. If the kidnapper wants us to believe that Walsh did it, he can't collect the ransom. Because Walsh is inside, so it doesn't make sense. No, our kidnapper was to have some other gain for taking or for killing Iris, but who? Well, there's no gain for Walsh or Linda Blackstock. Because at Iris's death, her fortune doesn't go to them. So there's plenty to think about, isn't there? Would you like some more sauce? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Help yourself. Delicious. Plenty more in the kitchen. Oh, yes, we always make plenty of sauce. Do you travel much? Yes, yes. Oh, uh, on business, mainly. Wish we'd travel more. Reg keeps promising it when he's got the time, but now I have this disquieting image of a couple of old wrinklies touring the globe before we pop off. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Actually, I've always wanted to go to the Caribbean islands. 
Have you ever been there? Well, I like, I agree, I like it. Mm. I don't get much chance for a foreign travel in my job. Though I uh, did uh, visit your sister-in-law in Provence. I didn't know that. Oh, yes. At a very good meeting. Oh, by the way, she asked me to give you these. Irises. She leaves them everywhere. Just as well you had a spare pair. Very unusual, aren't they? Yes. Yes, she always carries a spare pair. Where's that? Cup of bacon sit down. Beautiful. Calvi Harbour. No, it's Bonifacio. Hey, lads. Well, that's certainly you. It was the day you were leaving. You were in a hurry to catch the ferry. Could I just see that one again, please? We first saw you on your boat. I was looking through my binoculars and I saw this lovely young woman standing on the deck of the boat wearing a bathing costume. Somehow I, I didn't think it was hers. You saw her, didn't you, Dora? Yes. I remember she looked so lovely in her swimsuit. Some people can wear them and look as if they were born in them. That's right. That's just what you said at the time. Others are not so lucky. <laughs> then uh, she put on this dress and those sunglasses. And there you are. I think this is St. Dominic's Church. Church? Goat. Peasants. Pigs. Thanks very much. Lovely meal. Nice to see you again. Our pleasure. We must keep in touch. Yes. I'm sure we will. Splendid job. Splendid. Dare you use a social occasion to carry out your investigations? And without telling me. You only accepted the invitation to find out how much I knew. And what do you know? That somewhere along that coast, Philip killed his wife and disposed of her body. What? What about Walsh? Well. We got it wrong. That church. Someone might have told me what was going on. We didn't know either. Am I now to release him? Jenny, I'm sorry. All right, Dora. Now, we've got no proof, so uh, he may as well stew where he is. He's a thief, anyway. You really are intolerable. Look, Philip Blackstone killed his wife, and I've allowed myself to be used as his alibi. You're right. Who's the woman who came off the boat with him? Fashion model. How do you know that? Dora told me. She told me twice. Told me while we were on holiday. And told me again today. Born to a swimsuit, she said. Well, she would be. She was a fashion model. I'll bet you anything you like that uh, the other woman is someone that Philip met while he was working as a model. And we're going to have to go through every woman that Philip ever worked with. There could be thousands. <laughs> One of the perks of the job. Jim.
sweetheart. There's nothing to fear. I want to see you. You can't. We can't meet, not yet. You're not going to leave me or anything? Darling, I'll never leave you. I'll call you this evening. Tell me you love me. I love you. You know I love you. I've got a visitor. Got to go. I'll call you later. catalogues before we even started. Oh, do stop grumbling. I just hope you're right, that's all. If you can't do the job properly, I don't want you here. I didn't say I wasn't going to do the job. I don't want to hear any more about it. St. Vincent is in the Caribbean. When Philip came to lunch, Jenny asked him if he'd ever been to the Caribbean, and Philip said no. So he did. Good God. Philip wouldn't deny something like that unless he'd got something to hide. No, he wouldn't. Get on the agency. Find out who these women are. Well, well, well. I wonder if you could be the answer. One of you three. Well, give me that big bump. Come on, hold that. Keep that still. I'm coming in for that one. Hold it there. Lovely. Ah, it's here. Here. Keep it there. Trip it. Girl at the back, do that. Yeah, crucifix thing. Terrific. Terrific. Hold it there. That's lovely. One more. Good. All right, take a break there. Terrific. Smash it. Lovely. Come in, gentlemen. Take a seat. What's he supposed to be? I don't answer. Oh, and if you're expecting me to remember anything, it'd come about 20 years too late. Oh, just as one assignment. Can you remember if the uh, male model there, uh, Philip Marlbury was then, had any personal relationship with any of these three girls? Uh, Julie Thornton, Anna Ashby, and Clarissa Honey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, would you mind uh, sharing your pleasure with us? When you say uh, personal relationships, what do you mean? Sex? Romance? Or what he did when I was Betty Buys, I've no idea. But what I can tell you is it wasn't with Melissa. Uh, Clarissa. Clarissa. Why? Oh, I see. But he did like to play the Valentino with one of those girls on some other summing that we did somewhere, sometime later, so... Uh, which girl? God, what a question. I just love them all. This one. Anna Ashby. Now, are you talking about yourself or him? Could have been either of us. But I know that he was one. Or was it her? Uh, Julie Thornton. Possibly either of them, or possibly both of them. Wonderful women. I could just love them all. Sad as if you already have. Thank you. Any time. Any time. Oh, gentlemen. One for the album. Has Philip Blackstock ever been in your home? Why? Just answer the question. Not last time in here. Answer the question, and you may not be. Oh. A mistake has been made. Just answer the question. Yes, he has. When? Last week. What was he doing? He 
came to play me the voice of his wife, whom I'm supposed to have killed. Was he ever at any time on his own? He was alone when I got there. The cleaner let him in. Thank you. He's got nothing to do with it, has he? Who are you protecting? Philip? Is that why you aren't releasing John? Lovely. Yeah, give me more of that. There, that. Looking in, looking in. Hair. More hair. Lovely. Terrific. Terrific. Yeah. Keep looking. There. Lovely. Lovely. Hold it. Hold it. There. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah. Hold that there. To me. Turn. Turn. Oh, keep looking in the bed. Yeah. To me. There. Lovely. Again. Yeah. Terrific. Terrific. Hold that. Now give me more. There. There. That's lovely. Yes. Yes. That's great. Lovely. Once more. There. Well, you still out. These girls don't carry guns. They're not going to shoot you. You're supposed to be looking for a beautiful woman for a client. Something you do every day. Loosen up. Lovely. Thanks, ladies. Very nice. Perfect. Next three, please. Uh, Anna Ashby. There she is. That's your like. Uh, Judy Thornton. It's mine. And Clarissa. How's that? Oh, couldn't be better. Yeah, yeah. Right, off you go. No, no, no. no she will. Uh, walk past me in about five seconds. Lovely frock today you got. Get that in red as well, can you? Great, lovely. Yeah, here, here, there. Come on, give me more. Work. 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 More teeth. More teeth. Get on the front page of Dental Gazette with that one. That's tripping. Lovely. Yeah. Just going to reload. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Yeah, that's lovely. You look a bit funereal in black, Anna. Great. Nice, though. Nice. Nice book. How's your mum? Well, she'll come back again. What you got? That's great. Lovely. A bit more. Once more. There. That's great. Keep looking in the bed, OK? There. Lovely. Hold that. Yeah, do that with your hair again. Yeah, more. Keep on the vid, though, all the time as well. You two at the other end. Keep on the video. Yeah, that's lovely. Here we go. Thanks a lot. Terrific. You want the last three, then? Oh, uh, Julie, Anna, and uh, Vanessa, stick around. The rest of you can go now. Thanks, you've been great. Oh, by the way, I can just about survive looking at that tie, but that perfume's a bit strong, isn't it? That's for next time. I think we should start with uh, Anna Ashby. Get her up. I think she's gone. Wake up, Stevens. You've lost us.
keep going along this road. Tell me each place as you pass. Don't make it look as if you've got anyone in the back. Rented a little cottage down by the sea. You're safe there. He must have forced her to say those words just before he killed her. You can hear the fear in her voice. Charming evil can be. I can't do this. I can't do... But a mile from here, there's a turning to the right.
I know the model would have been reported as a suicide. And he was going to walk away as if he'd never been there. She was the only witness and the only evidence against him. We would have been witnessing the last act of a perfect crime. I'm sure his wife's body would never have been found if they were not looking for it. Nobody goes to that island and certainly not to die. What will happen to the father's money now? Well, it'll go to Irish's next of kin. Who is? Lucy. Ah. Didn't order champagne. So ask me. Why? To apologize. When you asked me on your boat trip what Philip said to this other woman how they were leaving the boat, I said he told her to hurry up, which is true, but not entirely true. Comes that bloody copper. Get out of the boat and into the car quickly. I thought he was avoiding you because you were, in his mind, a, a boring English tourist. I had no intention of passing on to you such a, a good remark. What's a mistake? No, it's my mistake. I didn't want him to be guilty. I fell for his charm. All my life I've been telling my girls not to fall for charming men, and then I fall victim to it myself. They're all wolves. I think they speak English. Mm, they're staying at our hotel. He is. She isn't. What do you mean? Reg, you wouldn't. I think she's got that Achilles heel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh,